What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Mix Kicks 35. Coming at you with my first unboxing. So we just got this package today in the mail. Turn this around. Grab the handy dandy scissors. Personal. And don't need that anymore. Now, as you can see from the box, I did pick up the Air Jordan Retro 5. Probably already seen a bunch of reviews on these, but this is my pair. This is the first time I'm looking at them. And wow. By the looks of it, looking at the shoe. This is really good. Now I do understand like now as I'm like looking at my pair, people are talking about the way the tongue looks. I kind of understand, but something I'm not really too picky about. I am happy though we do get the Nike, Nike, Nike on the lace lock. And I don't know if the camera can get in there, but you got the red insole with the Nike Air branded down there too. Now, now, as I looked at a lot of reviews on YouTube and saw some people, some people love the shoe, I love the shoe, some people hate the shoe, some people didn't pick it up. Me personally, this is my favorite Air Jordan Retro 5 color. So this is my favorite Jordan 5. So to me it was a must and then I'm also bringing it back with the Nike on the back. So I thought that was something I had to get. I know the price point was $220 for the shoes, $30 bucks normal than normal retros. But I will say, feeling this material i think whether this is new buck or dura buck i think they nailed it on the materials now i did read some reviews where people said the materials were cheap i having them in hand really filling up on my pair i don't think so at all a lot of people were talking about the blue tint on the outsole i like the blue tint versus the clear because these shoes is they're not going to yellow as fast now they're going to get like dirty on the bottom but you're not going to get that lemonade here until a few years so I do like I do prefer this tent but also looking at the shoe I just it's it's just my favorite shoe I mean you can't go wrong the new buck on here is real soft let me grab the other shoe take a look at it I'm not seeing no glue marks nothing no major defects from the factory very clean very outstanding I think they they nailed it my pair it's perfect. I know a lot of other people had really good pairs that they picked up. They didn't have a lot of flaws. But let me turn around real quick and compare it to some of my other shoes. So compared to not that one. This is the now this is the Jordan 4 white cement that released earlier with the Nike Air branding, the Nike on the bottom. I wore these a couple times, got a lot of wear out of them. Now, the leather on this shoe wasn't fantastic, but it was decent. And a lot of people were picking these up, not minus the 220 price tag. So I'm going to pull these out to, to talk about those for a second. Then I also wanted to get into another. Ah, oh, shit. I want to talk about these. Now this must be my favorite Jordan of all time, but I also want to talk about these is because this one came out back in 2013. I didn't get them in February. I picked them up in May during an East Bay restock. Now these have the Nike on the back. You're also paying $30 more, but they only but they did put Jordan on the bottom. I thought they executed this shoe very well. These flew off the shelf. These retail these resell for about cheapest I seen them is about six. 600 650 so I also wanted to talk about that shoe and then I wanted to get into this shoe So this shoe came out the Only reason I'm pulling this shoe out is because this one has that new buck or dura buck type of material and I was I'm Feeling both of them. I Gotta say this is this is better material what you get so This just this feels better. This feels a little cheaper. I mean, it wore pretty well. It held up pretty well. Wore these a bunch, and you can see the bottom's like just dirty. 
but I just don't understand how people say the materials were cheap, the shoe is not worth the 220. Now none of these shoes are really worth what they're selling for. You get that, I get that. Paying extra 30 bucks for the Nike brand in though, I do get it, but to me it was a must cop, so whether it was 190, 220, 250, I still would have copped. I mean, think about what we used to pay for shoes for resale not that long ago. So I just wanted to get into that video real quick. Go ahead and just show the backs. Can't wait for those True Blue threes to release on Black Friday. Then I'll have most of them. So this is Nick's Kicks 35, my first unboxing. The Black Metallic Fives. If you need, uh, want to see it on foot, just leave that comment down below. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching.